Hi, I'm Eileen Muller, and I'd like to thank Joe for hosting me on the show today. Guess what I write about? Dragons. And today we're here to talk about my Riders of Fire series and find out what my fans and readers think of it. So I'll just introduce you to the series before we start. There's Azara, is book one in Riders of Fire. It won a Storylines Notable Book Award here in New Zealand. And Azara didn't know that dragons existed until she met the dragon queen Zarusha and they imprinted. And she swept into a life of danger, deception and intrigue. She has to stop Commander Zen's and his cloned armies from stalking across the land, killing and enslaving thousands. Dragon's realm is in danger. Her twin brother Tomas appears in Dragon Hero. He never ever wanted to be a hero, but his dad is imprisoned, his mum is heading into Death Valley, and Tharox, cloned monsters from Commander Zen's, attack his village. He has no choice, except who to save first. And you know, when Azara reaches Dragon's Hold, right in the third chapter of the first book, she is trained by Roberto. Not sure if you can see him there, riding his fabulous dragon, Erob, who has a wicked sense of humour, by the way. So Roberto is jaded and bitter. He was sold to the enemy as a youngster and has deep, dark secrets that he doesn't want anyone to know. And now he has to train this ignorant young girl that never knew where the dragons existed. <laughs> Surely the task is beneath him. And then Dragon Strike occurs. Commander Zenz comes up with some new lethal creatures to taunt our beloved riders with. Due to the fact that there is a pandemic on at the moment, I have not been able to get any print copies of my book. That will be changing soon. However, Dragon War is book five. And uh, that's a war, obviously, with dragons. And Sea Dragon, a side story from one of the characters we meet in book one, is up on pre-order at the moment. So that's very cool. And if you're wondering, you know, whether it's worth getting into a new series, right now I have a special Whoops, it's hard to see that with the reflection. It's a box set of three books, which is usually $9.99, a great saving um, instead of buying all the individual books, which is still great value <laughs> as ebooks. However, if you get the box set at the moment, it's 99 cents. So it's a brilliant way to start my series. I'm sure Joe will drop a link down below. Otherwise, look me up on Amazon, Eileen Muller. Anyway, today we're here to find out a little bit more about my world, about what makes my books get reviews, um, like an explosive series, a whole lot of action and a whole lot of heart. Um, what are some other things readers have said? Oh, I've had people say this rivals Pern um, for you dragon lovers. No, nothing can rival Pern, right? But this was one reader's, <laughs> um, one reader's synopsis. And I've had readers tell me um, that it's the best thing they've read since Aragon, which um, humbled me, no doubt, but no end. But anyway, here is Dragon's Realm. This is the world which my writers of fire um, characters and dragons live in and you can see up the top there is dragons hold right up the top that's the main training area and down below here on this side is lush valley which is a horseshoe of mountains um, that that ringed lush valley and that's where azara and tamaz lived when the story opens so there's a lot of uh, fun a lot of action in my books I am really visual and, and um, like engaging all the senses. So I've had some readers say that it's sort of played like a movie in their mind or that I engage all five senses. I love action. I love um, a touch of romance. There's a little bit in there. Um, I've even had readers who don't usually read romance sort of have it grow on them and really enjoy, um, enjoy the series, you know, and all the various things that have gone on. There's a lot of um, teenagers running around get imprinting with dragons and meeting each other. So it's quite cool. But there is a lot of action in my books. So be prepared for an emotional roller coaster. I put my... Um, characters through the ringer and now you'll hear from my readers uh, what they've enjoyed about the series I thought I'd show you my little dragon costume today so you get to see there's a tail there somewhere oh I'm dropping things in my office wings do that I've got a tail there somewhere <laughs> and I like to wear this to cons and I've got an extra costume that my readers can dress up um, 
in and wear with me and we play dragon games and stuff so that's quite cool so anyway on to hearing from the real people who matter today um i would like to thank cherish who's come along today from the states we've got a few kiwis like me i live down in new zealand at the bottom end of the world we have a few kiwis a few teenagers who have gobbled up the book here locally who are on the show so my readers have spanned all age groups typically I have um, readers who are retirees, I have readers who are teenagers, and I have everybody in between. So I've written these books that have a wide appeal to people who love adventure, love emotional, um, the emotional impact that this story can have, enjoy a great fantasy romp, and also love dragons. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Phantom Forum. I'm your host, Joe Compton. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are here today uh, to talk about Eileen Mueller's series, The Writers of Fire. And five books are out, and the sixth one is on the way. And uh, we have a great group of people here, fans of hers, that um, are here to talk all about this great, great series. Uh, hi, um, I'm Danica, uh, I'm 16, I live in Wellington, New Zealand, um, and I, I love the Riders of Fire. This is Lisa, everybody. She is also from New Zealand. Unfortunately, her audio cut out and I could not recover it, so I'm introducing her. I really apologize for that, and I'm sorry about that, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ash, I'm also from Wellington, New Zealand. I'm 19. And I just love dragons. So. My name's Cherish. I'm from Madrid, Iowa. And I'm 36, so apparently I'm the oldest here. <laughs> um, and I just love Eileen's book. And I got a free copy of Azara. I won it. And that's how I got started with them. For people who aren't familiar with this series, uh, this is a deep... This is a nice big fantasy series of centering around the realm of dragons and, and, and such. And we start with Azaria, the, the first book in the series. And uh, I'm curious from you, your perspective on the, the character, uh, the main character in the first book and, and how you see that character and, and how she starts out in the book and, and how she develops. Well, I think she starts out as being unsure of herself. She wants to really go and see things, but she's not sure because that's not the way to do it there. And she doesn't want to forget her family. So it takes her a little, just a little bit to decide to jump on the dragon. And then as she goes, she becomes more confident in herself and she's able to help others along with herself and things just go from there. Yeah, most of it's already been said. Like, she starts out in a place where she doesn't really know anything at all about the world she's about to be introduced to. And over time, she, like, gets to learn more, and it's not like she's always really been interested and loved. So it's really cool that she ends up being, like, on top. I also like that she... She always looks out for other people. Dragons play a big role in this series. It's part of the lore of this this whole entire world and everything that's going on in it. And uh, and I'm sure you've read many books about dragons and thought about 
plenty of things out there about dragons, and I'm curious how uh, Eileen uses uses them and and what's different about how her approach is to to using dragons and, and creating this world. Uh, I really like the bond she's given uh, between the riders and the dragons. Uh, it's really strong uh, and quite powerful. That I've never actually seen a book where they're as close with their people as the writers are with their dragons. And so it was interesting to me to read a book about where they're actually friends with the dragons instead of just trying to fight dragons. Personally, I like the um, kind of personalities the dragons have. Like, they're very complex. Like, they're more complex than what people normally make them out to be. Like, they're just like people, but they have different connections. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> the interesting thing about this series that I find fascinating is that when you get into book one to book two, it's taking place simultaneously at the same time, and that's an interesting idea behind it. And, and I'm kind of curious from your perspectives if that was easy to follow. Was there, was there certain things that you really enjoyed about that aspect of it being kind of at the same time the story is being told and 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 it's it's a really interesting technique uh, and probably really difficult to write because like while you're hearing Azara's story you know Tamar's is off doing other things so it's really cool that Eileen shows that story uh, along the same timeline yeah, I agree. I think it was a great idea for her to do that because then you get two points of view about something that's going on at the same time. And then you can, because then you're wondering, well, what's she doing? And you can go between the two to figure it out. You know, the thing about it too is like, you never get too far away from, you know, when you get into book three, it's still only just a few hours or a few days ahead. And, and so this world is, it's a timeline. It feels very. It feels like it's very natural and real, right? And that's kind of is that kind of the appeal of what makes this kind of a different kind of fantasy world. I mean, that you're not jumping so far ahead, and that you're getting everything within a certain period of time. I think it makes it uh, go a lot faster as you're reading it because it pulls you more. It makes it a faster paced book and you get to really relate to the characters more that way and understand what's going on. So it leaves you hanging more often, so you want to keep reading. So she does a good job of, of connecting the dots to the, from the last book to the next book? Yeah. I think it's really good that it just keeps going. There's never, like, a break in the story or anything. So, like, the timeline is continuous it's like it's one book even though it's broken up into like five i think it is mm -hmm. which really keeps the pace up yeah so i found it pretty easy to follow because she puts it into sections so it's easy to know when it's switching unless you can uh it tells a lot about the background and stuff of what's going on so you can follow easily what world did you appreciate? What, what, what was one that you got lost in? Oh, uh, Dragon's Hold was really cool because um, there was a lot of people there. And then uh, you got to see the different personalities of the dragons there. You got to see the different personalities of the people. And that's where she meets some very important people. And that's also where they plan everything for the battle, the last book. So... It's a, it's a really good place to kind of get lost in to read about. Yeah, I like I really like um, Dragon's Hold. Uh, yeah, it's a really cool uh, place and it feels really safe there. So whenever I'm reading and I, they're in Dragon's Hold, it feels really it feels really safe and secure. Personally, my favorite would probably be Lush Valley, which is basically the start where they all start in. Um, Basically, just because it's such like a closed in, like close knit village, and it's really cool to see that, even if it's like very remote and like ignoring the rest of the world, it's, it's cool to see that everyone knows everyone and everyone's family. 
Um, I quite like Spangled Forest because it's, I know it's really uh, mysterious. This book has been described as being very cinematic, like you can see it in your head very, very easily and, and that it has a lot of great uh, visuals to it. And, and I'm wondering if that was the case for all of you. Did you did you get a clear picture of what you were reading in your head? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I could see everything really clearly, whether they're fighting or just or just talking. It was all yeah. I could just I see I saw everything, which was really cool. She does a great job of describing like the Tharax and describing Dragon's Hold and like where Zen's is at and. All the different places that they go to, Lush Valley, she does a great job of explaining what it looks like so that you can just picture it in your head, which makes it way better. Does it add a little something to have that for you as a reader? It does. It makes it a lot easier to enjoy because then you feel like you're there mm -hmm. instead of just reading something that's boring that you can't relate to. Yeah, I think it's really cool that she kind of, I think the term is like paints a picture. I think it's really cool that she manages to do that because that way, like, you're able to actually see it clearly as she's describing it instead of a lot of books where they kind of half describe it. So most of it is you making it up on your own. So it's really cool that, like, everyone can kind of see the same picture. Yeah, I really like it because uh, you can relate to it more and you're like your part of the story, I guess. So what, what, other than the main characters, what characters do you really, did you really love? What, what are some of the characters that uh, people could look forward to when they read this series that, that you think might be even important in, in knowing them? Um, I really like Roberta. Uh, I think he's, he's a bit of a main character, but um, I think he's really uh, complex uh, and a really strong uh, character. Uh, he's got a very complicated past, which um, is, is really good for a character to have because it makes them more relatable uh, and realistic. I think Kieran is one of the another one that's really good to read about because he's kind of a jokester who uh, does a couple things. He gets in trouble, but then he's also a leader. He goes through some trials and stuff, and it's just great to watch because you can relate to what he's kind of doing, going through and he's kind of a less serious character. I quite like uh, Hans and Marlies and how they're, I know they seem so so close and they, they've known each other for so long, they just kind of seem almost like one person. I think it's so really cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to stray from the main characters. Um, I really love Giant John. <laughs> um, I don't know, he's just a great character and he's really, really helpful. <laughs> yeah. Really helpful. <laughs> so, it, 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 you know, it, in telling your friends about this book and, and, and getting people to read it, What's the one thing that you say about it that you really you really enjoy about it, and and how do you get them to to, to jump on and read it as well? Uh, I would say it's action packed uh, with very complex characters uh, and really really fast paced plots. I'd say it has characters that you can relate to, amazing dragons, uh, great fight scenes, and a war that has to be done. Yeah, I'm kind of similar. I just go dragons. I love <laughs> dragons. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so fast paced. Like, the suspense is insane. Like, it's actually really hard to put down. <laughs> yeah. Is it a quick read? Would you say it's a pretty quick read? Uh... I'd say it's an intense read. I don't know if it's quick, depending on the reader, but yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's, it, it leaves you hanging a lot and it, that adds to the intensity and makes you want to keep reading and it, it's really, it's really 
hier in Themen drin passt. Uh, so, how about the battle scenes? Are the battle scenes uh, are they gruesome? Are they 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 just show enough? How does she handle the battle scenes, and what do you appreciate about the way that she writes those? Uh, they're a little gruesome. What I really like about them is how she um, has the dragons fighting in the air, uh, you know, breathing fire, etc. And then she's got like people on the ground fighting as well. And I think that's quite impressive to have both of those sides of the battle going at the same time. Yeah, I'd say it's a little gruesome, um, talking about like tearing arms off and stuff like that. But but it's not so over the top that it's not believable and it's not so bad that you're going to want to put the book down because of it. I mean, you have to expect that there's going to be a little bit of gruesome at least since it's war. So I think it's actually really, really cool in a way because it starts kind of slow and not so gruesome. But then as the books progress, you kind of get more of it because it's, I don't know, it just builds but it's really cool that like both the people and the dragons are incorporated. Like it's not just the dragons fighting in the air with the people on the ground. It's like, they're also like they have their riders with them sometime at the same time. So they're all together and incorporated. I suppose the gruesomeness is kind of part of it and that makes it feel a lot more dangerous and and all the different um, points of view that come up also make it really, yeah, really intense. And now I know this is a journey for me, with many many characters that, that, that take this journey, and they all take a different path to get there. And and it's it's a it's it's an interesting perspective because we're coming at it from different perspectives usually. But you know you you're all uh, you're you're all female and so I'm kind of curious how you how you felt about the approach that a female author has taken with Azara especially uh, and, and 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 did you appreciate that you know we have a more of a modern kind of female behind you know behind the writing and, and that it, and it has it, it feels it does it feel more authentic because of that yeah, um, I think Azara is a very strong female uh, lead character. Uh, she's very believable, uh, a bit headstrong, um, and I really liked how Eileen wrote her. I think it was um, very realistic and very well done. Eileen herself is actually a very strong woman from like the cats and stuff I've seen her do. And so I feel like she put a little bit of herself in there. Nice. And it really... It makes it relatable to me uh, to read it like that, knowing that it kind of reminds me of her and how she doesn't give up and how Azara doesn't give up. And I really like that. I think um, the guy characters in it are also well written and relatable for guys. I think a guy would enjoy the book also. I think from a more female view, it's actually really good because it is it's just like she's just another person like she's just another female like she I don't know it's just very relatable like the thoughts and the feelings are all the same and it's pretty cool to see yeah yeah I think she's really relatable and um in in the way her of her feelings and her thoughts as well, and and how she, um, you know, she needs sometimes she needs help and she she knows when she needs help and and when she doesn't and when when she knows what she wants. What is it about this series that you really really love? What why why do you keep coming back to these books? What what is it that's so different from anything else you've read? Well, the first thing I thought of was um, the characters. Uh, I really love the characters. Um, and quite modern. If they're in a medieval setting, they're still, um, they've got definitely got modern characteristics, which is really cool. 
Uh, and I really love the deep bond between Rune and Dragon as well. I like that there's so many different kinds of characters because there's the Zens and Zens and his Thorax and Triple O, and then there's uh, Azara and Roberto, and then it talks about all sorts of different people. So it's not just remaining on Azara, it tells the story from so many points of view so that you can totally understand what's going on, what people are thinking, and why. And so I think that makes it even better because you can go from Azara being worried or whatever and then go to Zen's and hearing what he has planned and then waiting to see what's going to happen. I really like how, like, I guess colorful you could describe it as, like how colorful it is because there's really so much going on. Like, there's not just one plot with one character, like... Is everyone's got a part to play and everyone's involved and I love how deep it goes like you really see like how these people like and these characters like came to make the decisions they made and just how they were feeling through this entire thing it's really cool to see that like even the bad guy had stuff happen to him so, yeah, it's cool to see. I really like the relationship between the people and the dragons. And, yeah, also how everyone is um, is included in it. And everyone can, can take part in the story. Well, how great is it to be able to reach out to Eileen and talk to her about this series? I'm sure you've all had conversations with her. She has your email address, so she knows how to get a hold of you. Uh, and so I'm curious if that's if you really like that aspect. You, you love the fact that you're she's so accessible and that you can you can you know talk to her about stuff and and stuff that maybe only she and you would understand. Yeah, I really like that. It it's um it's really cool because it adds like an almost an extra layer to, um to the story and the plots as well and all the characters. Have you uh, have you been mad at her for for killing off a character or or, or say, uh, doing something that you didn't expect? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> when you said that, I thought of Old Bill, uh, who I really really hate. Um, so yes, I have I have been a little bit mad sometimes. <laughs> uh, I really like that like you can you can just email her and she will come back almost straight away sometimes she's a little busy but um she's always so ready to like talk about the characters and really dig deep and like go well here's what I was thinking this is this is how this happened or I'll just find out for yourself get somewhere go digging <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, it's cool to talk to her about the characters and see how they came about. Yeah. I think it's really wonderful you can uh, contact her so easily and she's always so open to, to what you have to say and it's always really interesting to, to see it from, to see part of the point of view from, from the author. I really like that Eileen is so open about talking about her books and stuff. And if we have a question, she's there to maybe explain it. Sometimes she's a little vague on her answers. <laughs> uh, but uh, so I really like that she's there for us to even try to get more info. Um, Does she prod a little bit? Does she say, wait, 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 I'll explain it, I'll explain it, kind of thing to what she's being vague? She'll be like, well, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I have something planned for that, but you're going to have to wait and see. And so you're like, all right, fine. 